So how funny it is this? So Kokomo, you know, we always have fun with Paloma Villacana, yes. Bermuda, Bahama, Paloma, Paloma Villacana. Villa and she's in the studio right now. Oh, hey. And I mean, that never happened. She's never in the studio, but it's because we I'm have a. Say hi, she's saying hi. Yes. She's an honorary Beach, Beach Boy. Beach Boy. Well, at least we've made her one. Yeah. And, and, and um, we have another founding member that's joining us today on More. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Lead singer of the Beach Boys, Mike Love, joins us now ahead of their endless summer engagement at the Venetian. So listen to this. We have a sports reporter here named Paloma Villacana, and Jason Feinberg here started singing this song to her when she was brand new because he thought it, her name just went perfectly into Doesn't the song. Doesn't it sound like Paloma Villacana sounds like a destination? Well, you know, uh, Kokomo was, went to number one in 1988, which was the same year that I got this cap. Uh, the Rock oh, and Roll Hall of Fame. We were yeah. inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988, and and our son Brian, who's heading up our club, Kokomo Spirits, was born in 1980. So 88 was a really good year. And you're right, the song itself lends itself to some parodies. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yes. <laughs> well, I too was born in 1988. Oh. So you know, it was a good year. <laughs> well. You know, the nice thing about that song and about the Beach Boys music is it appeals, that it appeals to multiple generations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a very good thing because we started in 1961 with our first song. Our second song, uh, the, on the hit the radio was Surf and Safari. And that was 1962. So we're 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 really well practiced on these songs, and and we'll be doing them at the Venetian, as you know. Oh, yeah. there's so many. You guys have so many good songs, and I've I've seen you in concert many times. I know uh, even John Stamos is doing the drums once in a while. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It, it's just classic, and uh, I like Catch a Wave. I know it's a simpler song. Um, maybe you know, maybe not as deep as some of the other ones that you guys do. But I just love that song, being from Southern California. Uh, absolutely. Catch a Wave, Hawaii, Surfing Safari, Surfing USA. Mm -hmm. They're all good. They're all yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, so this is in uh, the show's in honor of the 50th anniversary of the Endless Summer album. So 50 years of the Beach Boys, I mean, like yeah. just dominating. What does that mean to you and the rest of the band? Well, I mean, it's a blessing because we started out singing not because we were going to be famous or because you're going to make any money at it because nobody did back in the day, but we loved harmonizing together. And that's that's essential ingredient ingredient. The thing that distinguishes the Beach Boys sound from so many others, is those complex harmonies yeah. that we were inspired. The blend of the Everly Brothers inspired us, but the doo wop inspired us, along with the mm -hmm. four freshmen who were fantastic singers. And so it, that combination of things led to the Beach Boys sound, which is, and we love recreating those sounds every night. They're, they're, and multiple generations turn out, which is a fantastic thing to see entire families enjoying the music together. Definitely. So why choose Las Vegas as the place to celebrate the iconic album? Well, Las Vegas is iconic. It's like the, the what, the, the world, goes to Las Vegas for entertainment. And the Venetian made us an offer to come and, and, and do a few shows there, a Wednesday, a Friday, and a Saturday. And we're going to be doing an after party. I'm going to be hosting a Club Kokomo Spirits after party. And so we're going to have a great time in Vegas. And it's nice. I mean, we do a lot of one-nighters, but it's nice to be able to sit in one really nice location for a few days. You hear yeah. that, Jace? Club Kokomo after party? Oh, I love that idea. Right. I love it. You know, um, I, of course, one of your other famous albums that, uh, besides Endless Summer, is uh, Pet Sounds. If you need yeah. my cats to come on stage, <laughs> if you're doing any songs from that album, we can make that happen. <laughs> that would be good. You know, we, you know, we always do God Only Knows, Sloop John yeah. Dune, Wouldn't It Be Nice from the Pet Sounds Wouldn't album. Wouldn't it be nice to be married? It's such a good song. You've yeah. heard it. I know you've heard it. Yeah. All right. Yes. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. And we hope you have so much fun here in Las Vegas celebrating we're gonna have, the album. We're going to have 
We're going to have fun, fun, fun. That's right. <laughs> That's right. To the daddy, to your daddy takes your T-bird away. <laughs> All right, we've it. got <laughs> the dates on your screen there. Go to VenetianLasVegas.com for tickets. Thanks again. I'm definitely going. Thanks here. for having me on Fox 5. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>